Welcome to Main Street Mondays. I'm Sarah Grunwald, Executive Director of Main Street Washington, and I am joined today by Mike Driscoll at Marshall's Furniture and Flooring. Hi, Good Mike. afternoon. So Mike, tell me about your business and about you. Absolutely. Uh, I am born and raised, for the most part, in Washington, Iowa. Uh, my grandfather, Ralph Marshall, started Marshall Furniture back in 1954. Uh, my dad started here in 78, and I came back in uh, 93 after uh, uh, graduating from Iowa State and uh, a couple years in Tennessee with my first job. Uh, decided to come back to uh, Washington, Iowa, a town I really enjoyed and I wanted to come back and be a part of uh, what's going on in Washington. Okay, so 1954 this started and it started with how many square feet, do you know? Uh, I don't, but uh, most people know where Everett's Music is. Uh, that was actually Scott Furniture. Uh, it was put up for sale. My grandfather came to town and purchased it. So the first Marshalls was in uh, the Everett's Music store. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's where it started. And in 1958, so four years after he came to town, he built uh, this first building on the corner of South Iowa to be a furniture store. Okay. Um, there was actually a church here, if people remember back in the, the day. In the way back machine. Yes, uh, I had a customer bring in a picture one day of the church that actually sat here. Okay. So we've seen that. Yeah, so, so this store is 1958, and then yes. you guys have added merchandise and product over time. So it wasn't just furniture, now you guys do other things. Correct. So yeah, I always ask my grandfather the question, how in the world did you have a furniture store in, in this small, small of a space with the first first room that we have here? And it was really interesting. Lazy Boy back then had two styles, three colors each. Uh, Mastercraft was the sofas that we carried back then. And there was two styles, four colors each. Yeah. So it didn't take a lot of space to uh, show all the furniture and everybody's houses kind of looked the same. You didn't right. have a lot of choice. Right. Um, on the back side of this first building was, there was actually an old barn. Okay that was their warehouse and in uh, I believe 64 they tore down the barn mm -hmm. and built our second room uh, which went west over to uh, what used to be the Montgomery Ward Auto Center mm -hmm. where they did tires that used to be our where they ended up being our warehouse in our dining department okay so yeah we've just kind of expanded yeah you guys have quite a bit of square footage now in downtown so. Yes, yeah, overall square footage with our warehouses space across across the street, we have about 35,000 square feet here in the downtown right. district. You guys have a big footprint. And you do furniture, obviously, yes. living room, dining room, bedroom, mattresses, flooring. Yes, most accessory. everything that, that we do is uh, mid-range priced, mm -hmm. uh, high quality uh, furniture. We don't do appliances, got other guys in town that do appliances. And what a lot of people still don't uh, realize is that uh, we've been in the flooring business the entire time that Marshalls has been here since 1954. We have also done flooring. Okay. And we did move our flooring department across the street on Jefferson. Mm -hmm. That was, a, and it's a great building. It was filled in a space that was underutilized and it's a couple years old now. Yes, absolutely. Uh, actually, it's going on four years old. Four already? Yes. Uh, our. Our floor covering and warehouse space across the street, we, we took down a, a little house that was being used as Paradise Travel. Uh, it was a little house that was kind of out of place in the downtown district. Mm -hmm. um, we tried to build a building that uh, was attractive and yet uh, affordable mm -hmm. and didn't take away from the downtown district. It's been very functional for us. Uh, mm -hmm. Wish we could close Jefferson and uh, attach to it, but that'll never happen. So no, probably not in our lifetimes. So, <laughs> so talk to me about what you like being, or why you like being in downtown. Uh, yeah. So if if you've seen some of our commercials, some of the things that we've promoted, not only Marshalls, we've promoted uh, uh, make a make a day of it with uh, the dining, the shops. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have one of the nicest squares in uh, in Iowa, as far as I'm concerned. We have a uh, clientele that come from uh, Clear North is, we're up in Marion, Cedar Rapids uh, a lot. Uh, and we have lots of people tell us how beautiful our downtown district mm -hmm. is. And they don't only just come to my store, but they do walk the square. They ask where to eat. Mm -hmm. They hit the restaurants and uh, they really enjoy Washington as a whole. Yeah, 
Absolutely. Um, so let's remind people where you're located. Yes, so 221 South Iowa, that is one block south of the square. We always used to tell people we're between McDonald's and Hardee's. Now we say we're between McDonald's and Kentucky Fried Chicken. There you go. Perfect, perfect pinpoint places, in the map. Places people know. Anything else you want to add? Um, yeah, uh, you know, we've, we've got a great thriving business here. Um, uh, we've grown our staff over the years uh, and we continue to grow as a business. We continue to reach out farther. Uh, uh, we've got goals. We want to grow this business. Uh, I don't know if we can double it in another 10 years, but we're sure going to give it a shot. Excellent. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you next Monday with another episode of Main Street Mondays. Thank you.